Well, it, it's Sunday morning and I just got out of bed. I thought, okay, let's go out and feed the fish. And then something shit happens. They're not all dead. I've still got a couple that are swimming around. But what happened is that my little pump in here fell off the teeth, fell off, fell off the ear, it fell off the elbow, and basically it meant there was no more water flowing. And uh, the fish in there are not particularly happy. My goldfish in here all seem all right. They're still swimming around, and they're hardy little buggers, but. Yeah, that sucks. So, the full flow's going through here again. Hopefully some of them are still alive. That guy there is still gulping. And there's still a couple that are just swimming around, so... Shit. Okay, so it's not really a video that I wanted to make this early in the morning and in my dressing gown, but here we go. So these are my little trackies that are now very much dead. And I thought I might go through a little bit about how to tell if they're still good to eat or not. So, it went, the power went out, or the pump went out, probably about some stage between 8 o'clock last night and 8 o'clock this morning. But I imagine it wasn't that long. So, if you have a look at the eye, you can see the eye is still pretty much crystal clear. There's no cloudiness inside of it, and there's nothing like that. When the eye starts to go a bit cloudy, then you know it's a bit late for them, and you shouldn't eat them. The other thing to do is have a sniff of them. They don't smell strong, they don't smell bad or anything like that, so I'd still say that they're still fine to eat. And I've got some in here that are actually a semi-good size. Granted, they would have doubled in size still before the end of the season, but that's what you got to do. So I thought I might go a quick, quick video about how to clean them and that sort of stuff. First thing to do, if you look down on the bottom, You'll see there's a little bit of a poo hole there. You want to get the knife and stick it in there and then stay very, very shallow as you cut down and try not to rip it all open. There we go. And that pretty much leaves all that intact. And that is the guts. And you want to try and stop all that from falling apart. So, I've got my little bucket here. And just pull out all the guts. And down the middle bit, that part there is the poo line. So the dark bit in the middle is the poo line, which you do not want. So I run my finger along that, and I'll just whack that, run, run that under some water, and go from there. Yeah. Okay, so now you want to fill out these guys. So, there's a couple different ways of doing it, but the way that I like the most, is you're going to get the knife, and you're going to put it down, that way, and it's basically going to cut it all the way through, until it gets to the tail. So knife, about there, flat against it down the middle of the backbone until it gets out. So, And then once you get to that point, hold on to it and then just pull the knife back and forth until you get to the end. And then you're left with a nice little fillet right like that. And the same way, flip it over, knife in there, and then just run it along the backbone so you get it out, and then that bit comes out, and you're left with a nice little fillet. So, I will do a few of these, and this little bit here I don't like either, so I usually run my knife. And then cut that bit out. And then you're left with a nice little fillet. I would have preferred if they got a bit bigger than this, but that's what you get. And this little guy is one of the ones that happens at Tuparang Trout Farm. 
Not quite sure why, but they get a few that have got little stumpy gills, stumpy noses. If you compare him to a non-stumpy one. But he grows fine, he looks fine. And there we have it. So that is some of my trout fillets. So I'll freeze down what I don't want. Okay, so I'll, go, I'll show you guys what happened and what caused the problem. So this is my pump. And at the end of it, there is a little elbow which hooks onto the pipe that goes out to the beds. So the problem that I had is this little one here popped out. So I'm gonna fix that and hopefully it should not become an issue. Now I've gotta have it loose, semi-loose. Oh, that's pretty tight. So, my guess is last time when I did something with it, I did not tighten it up quite well. And it's got quite a strong seal on it now. So, I was going to glue it, but it does feel very, very tight and very, very tough now. And I just think I didn't put it on properly. So, that's basically what happened. So, uh, I've got my trout fillers here, and I thought I might do a quick clip, show you guys how I'll pan fry a piece of trout. Since I'm a chef, I figure I may as well do a bit of cooking in this channel. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to get a nice non-stick sort of pan, which this one is. And then whack a little bit of oil into it. And then you want to wait for it to smoke. So once you can actually see the smoke coming off it, you know it's at a good temperature to start cooking off the fish. Okay, so if you guys can see, there is start smoke starting to come out of here, and that's when you know it's at a nice good temperature to start cooking. So get your fish, and basically drop it down away from you. And get another fillet and just drop it down away from you and then let them cook. So, a little bit of salt and just sprinkle a little bit around and a little bit of pepper. Now, we're going to try and cook it mostly on one side and then flip it over for a couple seconds on the other side just to finish it off. You don't want too much time at all. Now, so when it's cooking, keep an eye underneath it and you don't want it to cook too much. And you want it to get a nice golden colour brown. So I'll turn it down a little bit. Now on this side, you don't want to give it too long, otherwise it's going to overcook, which we do not want. And then that's pretty much it. You can see inside, and it's nicely cooked. And ready to go. So, I will pull these off. Okay, and then just in the pan, just a little bit of that sonic vinegar, and reduce it down just a little bit. A little bit more. And then just onto the fish. And there you have it. Quick and easy. And it should be very, very tasty. Tastes awesome. Now guys, thanks for watching and I will get stuck into this and munch through it.